anticipated iPhone 5 went on sale today. And diehard Apple fans weren't disappointed, but will it live up to all the hype? Well, Adelaide gadget guy Nathan has been road testing the new phone and comparing it with another smartphone to find out which one's best. Here's Francesca Belperio with his verdict. It's the most talked about smartphone in the world and today Apple fans finally got their hands on the new iPhone 5. But how does it compare to its biggest rival, the Samsung Galaxy S3? I'm Nathan and I'm the gadget coach. New iPhone 5 compared to the previous version we've got here, the 4S, you've got it's 20% uh, thinner, uh, you've got a longer screen, so you've got an extra row of apps, uh, and it's much lighter as well. Also, faster data connectivity, so it's 4G capable, depending on which network you're running it on. It's got panoramic photos as a standard feature. Also, new maps with voice turn by turn navigation as well. Give me directions to the MCG. The new iPhone is faster and smarter than its predecessor, but Samsung's just released a cheeky ad campaign trying to convince buyers that their Android is better. I moved on. But you're not going to miss all this? Uh, I got the Samsung GS3 now. Is that a Samsung? That's a new Samsung. You can see a, a large difference in the screen size. The other significant difference is the software. So S3 is running Google Android software. So there's some features we can run through with that compared to the new iOS 6 software. There's something unique to the S3 that the iPhone doesn't do is a feature where if you're sending a text message or got a contact list of contact, hold it up to your ear and it'll start dialing. The ability to customise the home screen, so you can see I've got a weather widget, which is an application which is open. And if I flick to the side, I've got calendar. Flick to the other side, I've got my Gmail set up. So, so rather than just uh, a standard list of folders and apps. Another unique thing which a lot of people were expecting the iPhone 5 to have was near-field communications, uh, NFC, which is a chip just like the, the pay, pay pass credit cards. What is that? Hey, what'd you just do? Oh, I just sent him a playlist. By touching phones? You can put the phones close to each other and then you can share video, photos and, and contact information. It's pretty cool. Which one would you buy? Well, I'm a bit of a fence sitter. If I'm comparing the two side by side, in my opinion, I think the S3 has uh, feature by feature is a better, better phone, on, purely on a feature basis. But the iPhone's popular for its software and simplicity and how it connects to other Apple devices. Apple wins a little bit on design, and as far as the number of apps available, over 700,000 for the iPhone, and there's over 500,000 for Android. Both phones will set you back around $800 outright, although you can pick up Samsung's a little cheaper these days. As for the future, of phones. They'll more and more become a, our wallet in our pocket. We'll be using our phones for payments, uh, we'll be using them for boarding passes, it's one of the software features for the iPhone, so we'll be using less and less other accessories. Our phone will be our one-stop shop. This one's 4G. Yeah, we've had that for a while. This one's got a big screen. This one has a bigger one. And we can share videos instantly.